Right, welcome to the hot and spicy on location. <laughs> um, well, I thought it's such beautiful weather at the minute, um, and I cooked this outside, so I'll eat it outside. And if you're like me, you always think that um, it tastes better outside, doesn't it? So, especially those that watch my cooking in the woods and stuff. Cobra and Madri. So, we're going to have, I'm going for a cobra today. And these have been in the fridge about three days. So they should be nice and cold. So this, uh, if you didn't watch my last video, which was a bit of a vlog shopping, left hand driver. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching that, good bit of fun that. Um, yeah, vlog shopping for most of this and I cooked it outside, made a video of it. So cheers and good health to you. Oh. Come on. Whew. Lovely. So this is a beef stir fry which had garlic, herb, and chilli, uh, marinated beef, steaks very thin, cooked them, sliced them, did some bacon, smoked bacon lardons, they call little cubes of bacon, crispy, and then I went and did the bell peppers, you call them, uh, red and green, I did some garlic, um, three scotch bonnets finely chopped, mushrooms, um, what else did I put in? Peppers, yeah. Oh, an onion. Um, they're only small, so I put two, no, three small red onions in and uh, fried them all off in some chilli infused oil. So the, oh, and added a firecracker stir fry sauce, which is a hot sauce. Um, so all in all, with a firecracker, th three scotch bonnets, we should have a kick. So. Mm. Oh, and um, to the person commented under, you might have seen the comment, under that vlog. You've overcooked the steak, my Celtic friend. I like that. <laughs> Normal circumstances, yeah. But when I'm, I was going to let this go cold, put it in the fridge, one's gone in the freezer. And then I'm reheating it, so I don't want no blood or anything like that in the beef when you're reheating stuff um, well that's my philosophy you've got to be careful on yourself <clears throat> that's why mm. simple thing here adding the Worcestershire sauce and the soy not a lot was it but it's there and I can just have that it just has that I don't know I'll, I'll, like um Beefiness, not just beef. How can I put it like a dark, rich richness to the sauce? Now this stuff is a garlic cheese. No, no, not cheese. Garlic. Garlic and herb, is it? Garlic pizza bread. This is H's had some. Mm. Trouble is, <laughs> that's a kick. You can't overdo this because there's a fine line between crispy and burnt. <laughs> I was going to say, you might hear some screaming. I give them kids a plate of this. <laughs> And the dog. Oh, that's so perfectly cold. Oh, lovely. So, making most of the weather. Do you get a chance to sit out in the garden? Do you get time? Wow, that is, 
Three Scotch bonnets, baby. Ooh. Mm. Oh, and there's some spring onion or scallions just chopped as a decoration on the top. Yeah, do you sit much out in the garden? Do you get time? Have you had a barbie yet? I had one last week. Um, that's right, yeah. I did some lamb ribs. Um, what else did I do? Lamb ribs. On oh, burgers. And then I fried some streaky bacon. So I had a burger. A spicy chilli cheese. Well, lettuce first, then the burger, then the chilli cheese, then fried onion. Enjoy them. Fried onion, and then, um, what else did I put on? Oh, the bacon. And then some hot sauce, some mustard, and some of that fiery chilli ketchup. <laughs> Should have filmed it, right? This is lovely. Very nice chain. As I say, there's another same amount in the freezer. And I did behave myself. I didn't pinch any. I only tried that piece you've seen in the video if you watched it. Just one piece. I like this time of the evening. Well, I was going to say it goes nice and quiet, but at the moment there's some neighbours about. They're about two doors down, two sort of gardens away. You can hear them. Nice to hear children playing outside. And anyway, what are you having? Forgot to ask. Are well, you heading out? Wow, this is hot. Whew. Lovely heat. Mm. Any plans a weekend? Yep, too much going out, staying in, working, having a bit of the golden amber nectar. That's lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Good job. I added the two packets of uh, firecracker sauce because um, it's just about right. Um, it wouldn't have been. May have been too dry otherwise. Mm. Been <coughs> doing a bit in the garden this week. We've got a section round the corner, down the bottom there. Um, gets a bit wild but we leave it like that um, if you've seen it you probably think what a lazy bunch of but it's only a little section and the reason is it's where I keep my ladders and um, there was three nests in it 
the year before last. Three blackbirds' nests. Well, I think they're blackbirds. And one of them was on the ladders. <laughs> so um, we leave it every year, but nothing nested in, a, in it this year. But it uh, doesn't matter, we'll keep it going. It's not far from where we feed them. So I'm normally filming this in a room up there. A lot cooler out here, it's lovely. Get out of it. Always a this one of them um, seeds, you know them. What do you call them? You can you blow them. Just one of them. What I want to say? Yeah, we've been out today to um, <coughs> Anglesey, Bumaris few places there. Um, we have filmed so there might be a video I'm saying that now it might be on before this I don't know no it won't be on before that I don't think so it might be anyway it's either on if we filmed a few clips so once that's edited it might be already on so I'm talking rubbish uh, or it will be on later on after this or tomorrow so like so just in case to warn you you'd be sick of the sight of <laughs> mm. this my David Morrison's um sometimes these thin ones because it wasn't a special range or anything like that. it was just them um, bog standard garlic um, pizza bread but and it's normally sometimes they can be quite dry you know when you've cooked them but that has they put a good lot of like garlic butter I think it was on the top so it's really nice mm. there's loads of garlic in this What else can I tell you? No, nothing much. Nothing must change. Just enjoying this weather. My mint, which is behind you in the box, is doing well. And the rosemary next to it. You know that um, if you watch that video, I did a, another vlog when it was just some planting of that in it. And uh, the rosemary's coming on lovely, so I've watered them a few times. I've got another pot of mint down there, but that's a very old sort of British mint, which uh, an old chap I delivered to, I might have said, in, um, you know, he's lived there all his life, he was in his 80s then, and he said, we've always had mint here, so it's a proper old... I said, do you mind if I have some cuttings? He was thrilled to bits to give me... And he gave me some, so I've planted it, and it's come, it's come back this year. I like to make um, you can put some mint, crush it, and put it in ice cubes. Um, another one, mint tea, which is aged like that. Um, a mint sauce when they do like roast lamb something like that you just do it with a put some boiling water get a load of leaves like a handful in a bowl boiling water 
let them sort of steep for a bit and then um, drain the water out put some malt vinegar in salt a little bit of salt and um, like a teaspoon of sugar mix it all well leave it enough liquid to Oh no, the vinegar, yeah, the vinegar does that, and then, um, but chop the mint up, obviously, uh, first, <laughs> chop the mint, and then, yeah, lovely that. Funny, excuse me, scotch bonnets. They're a hot chilli. Mind you, I'm outside, I know, but nothing. Whatever the haircut, can you see? When did I have a Friday night here? Yeah. Last night. Um, making me sweat. Maybe if I was inside, because it's warm in there. But there's a, you know, it's out here, you've got the air, haven't you, so it's not so bad. But uh, it doesn't make um, nose or anything like that. So it's funny how different. I've said it before. You may find it yourself if you like chilies and heat. Certain chilies or certain powders will make your nose run or make you sweat like a pig. Or, and some won't. Even you know very hot ones. Ooh, getting full now because it's hot. That worth every effort to make in that. Mm. Right, quite simple today. Um, hope you don't mind, but it's it's good, honest food in it. You know what exactly what's gone in that, and uh, it's nice, really nice. Cold beer, lovely. This Cobra and Madri, two drinks that go well with heat. Hot curry, hot. Yeah, getting full now. A little bit left there, but that'll do me. Hmm. <laughs> That burn, when you think three scotch bonnets, that burn is what it's all about. That's lovely, well for me. So many thanks again for watching. Um, have a great weekend. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe and happy. No dad jokes today because I'm out of the I'm out of the studio <laughs> my joke could have brought it out I forgot didn't I yeah. but um, yeah thanks very much for watching have a great weekend if you're having something I hope you enjoy it and some cold beers with it can't beat it that first one Ooh. and this as I say was worth every effort of making really really nice and it's marinated for two days uh, the flavors the beefs infused with all the juice and it's just burning in the mouth balanced burn you know there's no sort of patchiness oh it's lovely i'm full now gotta leave room for more beer and i got another meal in the fridge anyway i'll see you in the morning on paul h if you follow me bloody hell i go on sorry Just excited to see you. So yeah, see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye. That's all I had to say. <laughs>